Hey what's up creators and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 5 survival game course. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how we can set up the functionality for our hunger system. By the end of this video, your hunger bar is going to slowly decrease going down to zero. And then what we're going to be doing in the next video is we're actually going to be showing you how we can set up a pickup which is actually going to bring that hunger level back up. For now though, let's jump in and show you how we can set up the functionality so that bar decreases and display it on the screen. Okay, so the very first thing that we want to do then is we want to go to our first person character blueprint. In our first person character blueprint, this is where we're actually going to be storing all of the variables related to the player's hunger. Now, we can do this just by creating a simple variable. What we're going to do is go to variables and we're going to create a new one and we're going to give this a name hunger. Then we're going to set this to the type float. Now we actually need two variables for this, one for hunger and then we also need another one for maximum hunger because these are going to be things that we can tweak later on. Once we've done this, we can go ahead and hit compile. Then what we're going to do on our maximum hunger, we're simply going to set the value to this to be 100, the default value that is. And we're also going to do the same thing for our hunger to make sure that as soon as we spawn into the game, we have the maximum amount of hunger and energy, whatever you want to call it, left and remaining. Once we've done this, go ahead and compile and save this to, to update all of this. Okay, now that we have our variables set up for our hunger and our maximum hunger, what we're going to do now is show you how we can create a function which is going to decrease that hunger. And then what we're going to be doing later on is two things. First things first, we're going to be showing you how we can display this on the screen, but we're also then going to show you how we can call this function over and over again so we can decrease that hunger forever. So back inside of Unreal Engine then, what I want you to do is go into the first person character blueprint again and this time we're going to create a function and we're just going to give this the name drain hunger. Then what we're going to do from our drain function, the execution pin here, we are essentially going to take our hunger, get a reference to it and then we are going to decrement this float. The decrement node here is just going to simply subtract one from it and then set it. So every time we call this function, it is going to reduce my hunger bar. And quite honestly, for now, that's all that I need it to do. So I'm going to add a return node in here just for good measure to say, hey, we're done with this. Then we're going to go ahead and compile this. With that done, if we go back to our event graph, what we're going to be able to do is we're essentially going to be running that function on a timer, telling it to be called every single second. So essentially it's going to call that function, which decreases the float value by one every single second. To do this inside of the event graph, what I'm going to do is on begin play, after we've added our heads up display to the viewport, what we're going to do is search for timer by function name, set timer by function name. And like I said, what it's going to do is allow us to call a function a certain amount of times per second. Now for me, I can see my function name, let's put that in, is drain hunger. So I simply just type that in. The time is how often I want this to happen. For me, I want this to happen every one second. And then what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going to my looping and I'm going to be setting this to true. Now what's going to be happening here if I compile this is as soon as I start playing, it's going to start looping that function pretty much forever, but it's only doing it every single second. Go ahead and save this. Now that we've done this, let's go ahead and show you how we can get this displayed on the heads up display. Now with this, we're going to be using an event based approach to do this. So everything's super clean and super optimized. So what I want you to do is go ahead and open up your heads up display that you created. You should find this within your survival course folder and your widget blueprint underscore player HUD. Now inside of here, what we can see here is we've got these progress bars. 
And with this, we have got inside of here these percent values. Now, we could, if we wanted to, just simply create a binding to those variables. But what I wanted to do was show you the proper event-driven approach, which is more optimized. I'm not gonna get into that too much for now, but what we're gonna do is essentially get a reference to this HUD and then simply just set this percent as part of that drain hunger function. To do that, we're gonna go back to our first person character inside of here. What we're gonna be doing is just after we create this widget here, just before we add it to the viewport, what I want you to do is actually promote this to a variable so we can reference this anytime we'd like. So just drag out, promote to variable and call it HUD ref and then join it up. So once we've created this widget, we create what's called the HUD reference and we add it to the viewport. But then inside of our drain hunger function, mind I've just disconnected this pin here and this is what you should have. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be getting a reference to this and we're simply going to be getting the hunger bar. And then with this, what we're gonna be doing is we're simply going to be telling it to set the percentage on this. Now, the percentage is really easy to figure out and we're gonna show you how to do that. So the percentage, the way we get the in percentage here is we get the current value and the maximum value. And all I'm doing is just dragging and getting a reference there. And then I'm just going to divide hunger by maximum hunger. And this is going to give us our percentage. We then join up our execution pins like this. So what's happening now is every single time this function is called, we reduce the hunger. Then we get a reference to our heads up display and just simply update that value on there. Then what we're gonna do is go ahead and compile and save this. With that done, if we go ahead and press play, we're going to see now that our hunger bar is going to be going down over time, which is perfect. Okay, now that we can see that our hunger is displayed on our screen and it is going down over time, what you are going to see is straight off the bat that it's gonna have the default value from our heads up display. So it was about half full there. And then once my code started kicking in, that's when it went up to the beginning and then back again. The way we're gonna combat this is actually really simple. We're just gonna make sure that the default value on our progress bar on our heads up display matches the one that we've got in our character, which is simply just 100% full. So again, go into widget blueprint underscore player HUD. Inside of here, what we're gonna do is simply scroll down, find the percentage for our hunger, and set this to the maximum. If we go ahead and compile and save now, press play, you can see that bar is going to go down. But most importantly, what we can see is happening here is that hunger bars not just going down, it's going down forever. And it started with a maximum complete full bar there. Perfect. Okay, our hunger system is working and it is bug free. Perfect. What we're going to be doing now is simply showing you how we can increase or decrease that hunger speed, the speed that it's actually draining. Because what I found right now, I've got it decreasing one float or the value of one every single second and the maximum value is 100. Therefore, after 100 seconds, that's it, the player's dead. That is not long enough. Let's go ahead and show you how we can adjust this. For me, I think that my hunger system is going down a little bit too quick. That being said, instead of taking away one hunger every single second, what we can do is we can just change this number. So we run this drain hunger function every two seconds or every three seconds. All we need to do is just change this time value here. So what we're gonna do under time, we're gonna set this to three. So now it's actually going to drain that hunger by one every single three seconds. Go ahead and hit compile, save, and then play. And you can see now as we jump in, the bar is still going to be going down. However, it is just going to be a little bit slower, but it is moving. And the reason I've increased this time that it takes to go all the way down to zero is just to give the time a little bit more time to go around the map and find some food. 
That's it for this video, I hope you have enjoyed it. By now you should have your hunger bar set up and it is going to be slowly decreasing over time. What we're going to be doing in the next video is showing you how we can create a simple pickup so when you run over it, that bar comes up a little bit and the player has a little bit more time to play our game. I'm really excited for you all to check out the rest of this course, so be sure to head over to the next video in the series to continue on. Also, if you have any questions about this course, getting stuck or need a little bit of help, be sure to join our Discord. The link for that is in the description down below. As always, stay awesome, keep creating. Virtus, signing out.